Welcome to the Stutzman channel. In this video we're going to be upgrading a SATA 3 256 so sand disc solid state drive. That's what's in this here Dale Inspiron 157000 series computer. Specifically it's a 7567. Now what we're going to be carrying it up to is we're going to be putting in a one terabyte Samsung 970 EV, EVO. It's going to be an NVMe and of course it's an M.2 just like the one that's in there as far as in the form factor. And this is what it looks like. So in this case right here obviously we you know this has an edge connector so we're going to need some kind of an adapter put this in so that we can clone the original disk and we're going to copy all of the information that's on the hard drive, applications, everything to this one here. Now the adapter that we're going to be using is this one right here. It's made by Pluggable. You can see it's a USB 3.1 Gen 2 it's the NVMe solid state drive enclosure. And that looks like this right here. Now, here's our enclosure. It comes with two cables. We have a USB C to a USB C, which on this computer I don't have USB C port. It's using a USB A and USB C. A USB C is going to be going to the enclosure here and we have a little latch up here that we slide it over to the side and then we just slide it off so our card our solid state drive is going to be going into here now we're going to take our card and we're going to stick it in the slot and then there's a rubber nub right here most of them has a screw the other type of enclosures so we'll just kind of pull this back. We'll slide them down. And then we'll put it, there's a little slot in this rubber nub here. And so there we go. Now we're going to take our enclosure. And we just slide them on. Now this here solid state drive is just taken right out of the box so it's not been formatted nothing's been done to it space has not been allocated or anything so I'm just going to plug it up into the USB port okay now as I mentioned we need to copy the contents of the original solid state drive over to the new drive now there's a lot of different free programs out there but what I'm going to be using is a Kronos True Image 2020 because I use it also for the backups so I'm going to go over here and by the way I'm using I'm filming this with the camera because I'm not sure that during this here cloning process if there's going to be a reboot so if I had a screen recorder it would be useless so I'm just going to start it up and film it you know with the camera alright so we're going to start a Kronos up And then we're going to go to clone disk. And I'm going to be using automatic method here, recommended. And the first thing it wants to know is select the source hard disk from the list below. And this is the one that's inside the computer. You can see it's a 256 gigabyte. And then we're going to go down to next. And it should find this here new drive that we're going to be cloning. And you can see there it is, disk number two. You can see it's not initialized, 931. And we're going to click next.
Now right here, this is what it's showing what it is before. This is the new drive. And this is showing what it's going to look like after it's been taken care of or being cloned. So now we're going to click on proceed. And you can see it's going through the process here now. I know in the past uh, versions I've used before of a Cronus, and we actually use this at work to clone our hard drives, you know, in case we had a failure with one of them. But uh, I knew in the past it did it through a boot process. Uh, I did see a couple of forums there where some of the people were talking about with the newer version here they would actually do this entire thing in the Windows environment and the reboot wasn't uh, necessary. But we'll find out. Is this the first time I've used this new version other than uh, making backups. Okay, so maybe it's going to be a while so I'm just going to pause the video for right now and once it gets near the end I'll just bring the camera back on. All right, the disk was successfully cloned. So now we're going to turn off the computer, we're going to remove the source drive, and then we're going to put the other one in, the one we just cloned, and then we're going to turn back on the computer. So, let's shut this down, and let's shut this down, and then I'm just going to hit and hit shut down. Okay, so go ahead and we'll re remove this one screw, or just loosen it up rather. And then we're going to remove this back cover, just like we did in the previous video. Take this one out. And our uh, M.2 drive is right here. Alright, so now I'm going to remove this one here, I'll set him over there, and let's take a look at this very small screw. Okay, I'm gonna take him out. As I mentioned earlier in the, a little bit earlier in the video, you see how this one has two slots, mm -hmm. so this signifies this is a SATA drive. And now let's put the other one in. Make sure he's seated. And it's good to have your screwdriver magnetized because this screw is so small. And just give you an idea, show you how small it is. Okay. And then we put our cover back on. Put our tabs in the slots in the back. And then we're going to screw the screw down. get the cables hooked back up and then I will turn the camera back on once it comes up. If something happens we'll turn the camera on anyway. Okay everything booted up fine no problem. Okay so let's take a look. Let's go down here to the Explorer. Let's go to this PC and as you can see right here 
there's our one terabyte drive and so we're looking good We've got a lot of free space there so I got 720 gigabytes free we're gonna uh, open this program here Samsung magician you can download this It's a free program from Samsung's website and looking at drive information I just ran a benchmark so it's about five times faster I'll show that at the end as a comparison I also use another benchmarking software here uh, let's see drive details uh, this here is where the firmware this is the biggest thing I was opening this program up for so I see it has the XE7 firmware now if there is an update available it would be right here to let you know you click on the link or the button and then it will automatically install the update you can see here's the uh, benchmark between the two solid state drives the one on the left is for the original drive that was the SATA drive and then the one on the right is for the new NVMe drive Turns out it's about 6.1 times faster. Okay guys, as you see, there's nothing to upgrading your hard drive. Whether it's a mechanical hard drive and you want to go to a solid state drive or a solid state drive to a larger solid state drive. <laughs> Josie, what do you want? You want something, don't you? So anyway, we're going to wrap the video up guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the content, be sure to subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. And by all means, be safe out there.